The data that I'm going to use is from an epidemiological study of Los Angeles employees, and we are going to see the association between the subjects uh, who are in our data in 1950 and in the 1962 uh, using Excel 2010. I'm attaching this data file and on our web page so what we are going to do is this that is uh, look at the data and uh, we are interested in having the weight at in 1950 so this weight in 1950 we are interested in having it as our x variable okay so we'll take it in a different uh, in a different uh, sheet okay so here is a different sheet all right so we pasted it here and then we will do the same thing for the weight at 62 click on the top I'm doing control C you can do control uh, sorry edit copy if you would like and then go to the different sheet that we had and here we have it pasted now in order to plot these values first uh, what we will uh, do is select the data then we go to insert and then we go to scatter and here everything is inserted okay now let's remove these because we are going to be able to format these soon in our own way okay so here there is a positive association in between these two variables and looks like we should be able to fit a line with positive slope here so first what we are going to do is that we are going to adjust our scales just for visual reasons even though we can do pure calculations with the same scatter plot so let's just go around and uh, when we move our cursor it should give us an option of uh, formatting the or axis and what we want to do there is this that we saw that there was there was nobody lighter than 100 pounds okay so we will make it a hundred here for the x values all right and uh, same thing for the y values so we just move around it gives us an option for the y axis okay and we do the same thing here okay and uh, so here we are and now our next uh, work tool will be this layout and uh, first what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this layout to enter the titles for our axes because for communicating this information it's very important that person knows what we are talking about so I went to the axis titles okay and uh, I want say horizontal axis title and let's keep it below here so the axis title is um, let me quickly enter it okay weight in 1950 in pounds right okay and we do the same thing with the with the vertical axis so let me go there the yeah here is so then we will do I'm just keeping horizontal title you can use vertical title if appropriate or something else okay so the axis title here is weight in uh, 1962 in pounds right okay and then we can enlarge this chart now we are going to fit a line and and get an equation so we go to this trend line option okay and of course since we want the equation also we will do this that uh, we will say display display the equation on the chart and it will do that and here even though we are not doing r square in algebra course it's still it's pretty handy and tells us a lot more things so let's go ahead and get it at this time and for the line style 
the line is too thin compared to the uh, to the to the dots here. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's have the same color scheme. Okay, and we are just going to make the line little thicker, and you can change the color scheme if you would like. Okay, so here we go, and here is the here is the equation and the r square value, and I'll discuss more about this r square value later. Okay. But first, let's just go ahead and enlarge this here. We can embolden it if we want. So equation of the line is uh, y equals 0.8434x plus 25.62. So you know, many people lost weight during those peri that period. Many people gained weight. But overall, the association is positive, And we are going to discuss the meaning of r square right after this okay so but for algebraic purposes we have equation but for analysis purposes we need a lot more okay